the fairies got new shoes. They're so easy to make. You'll want to make a pair in every color. I've had a few requests to make doll shoes, so I went on YouTube to search for doll shoes tutorials. I found so many, and the shoes were beautiful. The details were incredible. Some of them require a level of patience and skill that I don't have. In case you don't know, our channel Rosie's World is for children. All our tutorials and videos were made with this in mind, so I got to work and figured out an easy way to make doll shoes. They may not be the prettiest, however, if you have the patience and skills, you could perfect this method, add details, and make them really pretty. I hope this inspires you. All these shoes were made with. Are you ready? Fabric paint. Yes, fabric paint. Not all fabric paints are the same, so I'll go over the differences and show you what I prefer. The shoes in this row were made with puffy fabric paint from the dollar store. It cost about two dollars. The thing I liked about this paint is the nozzle. It's long and pointy, which makes it easy to direct the paint where you want it to go. However, the bottle is cheap, and here's one that I had to tape up because I busted a hole in the bottle from squeezing it too hard. And they come in limited colors. Here's a shoe I made with it. I painted a red bow on it. The paint does not go on smoothly, so the finish is rough. Although it dries to a very hard surface. Here's another one I made with the paint. Look how lumpy and rough the surface is. Not a pretty finish. The next row of shoes were made with Scribbles Pop 3D paint. This brand comes in a variety of colors. This line is called iridescent. It means the finish will look like it changes color depending on how the light hits it. Here is a bottle of it in watermelon color. The nozzle is a little bigger. It's harder to direct the paint, and it'll come out thicker. Here is a shoe made from this paint. The shoe is very soft. In fact. Too soft. The sides got squished down, and I can't fix it. It feels sticky even when it's dry. I don't know what it is about this paint that it feels like this even after a week. It never hardens. I'll show you the difference. This shoe here, look how hard it is. It passes the squish test. This one here, however. Check it out. I don't like it. The next row of shoes were made with the same brand, Scribbles Pop 3D paint. These colors are called crystals. The finish will have sparkles in it. Here's a bottle of that paint, Crystal Gel in Holiday Green. The nozzle is the same. The paint comes out thick. All the 3D paints are a thick gel. Which is good because you can direct it where you want to go, and it won't drip; it stays put. Here is a shoe made from this paint. The color darkens when it's dry. You can see the sparkles in it. And for some reason, this paint dries harder. It holds up in the squish test. This row, I only made one pair, because I only bought one bottle of this paint. Again, the same brand of paint, Scribbles Pop 3D, but this is the shiny paint. It comes in a lot of colors, but I only bought one to try. This bottle has a smaller nozzle. Can you see the difference? This smaller nozzle gives you better control of the paint. Here is a shoe made from this paint. I love the bright color. The finish is smooth and shiny, just like it says on the bottle. Shiny. 
And now for the squish test. It's soft, but still passes. Overall, this is my favorite paint for making doll shoes. The bottle is strong, the nozzle is small, the color is bright, the finish is smooth and shiny, and it passes the squish test. So with the right paint, let's get started. Prep the doll that you are making shoes for. Cover the hair in plastic wrap. You don't want to accidentally get paint in the hair because it's really hard to get out. You don't have to cover the body if you don't want to. The paint can easily be scraped off. The feet on my fairy dolls have the same shape, so the shoes I make on this doll will also fit the others. First, I have to make a cover for the feet. For that, I use balloons. You could use plastic food wrap, but balloons work better. The size of these balloons is called 260s, and they are the most popular size to make animal balloons. Cut a piece about this length to mid-calf, and another one in a different color. This helps me keep track of which foot I'm painting. Now to get them on the foot. Get it on the foot and pull it down. Smooth it out. I know what you're thinking. Whoa, I just made a sock. Oh my gosh, doll socks. Yeah, isn't that so cool? You came here for a shoe tutorial and you got a bonus sock tutorial. Take note, if you make socks, if you go higher than the knees, the balloon starts to roll down. Okay, continue. Next sock. Get it on the foot and pull it down as far as it will go to ensure it's a smooth fit. Smooth it out. Take a pair of shoes that came with the doll and you're going to use them for a guide. It's okay if you don't have a pair of shoes for this step but it makes it easier if you do. Make sure the shoes are on good. Take an ink pen and trace along the top of the shoes. Take the shoes off and you should have a clear outline of the shoes. It shows up better on light colored balloons. Take your paint. I'm using my favorite Scribbles Pop Shiny 3D and paint the foot like you're painting on shoes. Paint a thin coat. You'll be tempted to paint a really thick coat, but don't. Thick coats take longer to dry. It's better to paint three thin coats than one thick coat. I sped up this video, but when you're painting, take your time. Go slow. The first layer. It's not going to be perfect, and you're going to see the balloon color underneath. Don't worry, there's going to be four more layers. Put her feet up in the air. Get the bottoms facing the ceiling as much as possible. It will take at least an hour to dry. In fact, the drying is the hardest part. All that waiting and waiting. I recommend doing a few dolls at the same time. Now that you know how to paint the first layer, I'm going to really speed up the video for the other layers. Remember, each layer takes at least an hour to dry. Let's go!
this is the last layer. Although you can add more layers, it's up to you. If you have the patience, go ahead. You'll get a thicker and sturdier shoe. I think this is dry. It should be nice and smooth and not sticky. Okay, time to take the shoe off. Get your fingernail under it. And woohoo! Here it is. Look how cute. And now the other shoe. Off it comes. Oops. And here they are. Aren't they cute? Oh my goodness, they're so adorable. There's some ink on them, but it can be covered up with a little paint. They're still a bit soft right now. The insides need to dry a bit more. Let's put them on Silver Mist. She loves shoes. Oh my goodness, they fit perfectly. The nice thing about these shoes is that they're flexible. They look amazing. So now that I've shown you how to make doll shoes, do you think you could make them? A. Yes, so easy. B. Maybe, not sure. Or C. No, it's too hard. Post your answer in the comment section or click on the i card and take our poll. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click like. Check out this video. Rosetta was such an awesome shoe model. Let's treat her to a makeover. Ooh, she has the same frizzy hair as Silver Miss. Oof, yikes. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.